Hello, today I'm going to show you the difference between duration in days and elapsed days. So for this purpose, I created two tasks. One is development and one is backup. And before I continue, I will show you that in my project, which is supposed to start at 28th of March, I created one holiday day which is, sorry, not here, but in change working time, at 30 of March 2022, which will be on Wednesday. Okay, now let's say that I have one task which is going to be development, and it is going to last two days. And then after that, I want to make a backup, okay? Maybe this is not a great example, but let's say that you, after the development is done, you are starting with your backup, which will uh, have duration of one day. If I put here one day, you will see that development will be from Monday to Tuesday, and after I uh, run my backup, it will start at, at Thursday, because... Wednesday is a holiday. It can be the same thing if I had, for example, that development is four days, which is going to be from Monday to Tuesday, then from Thursday to Friday. And after that, if I run back up on my Friday, it will start it immediately after weekend. So when you put here days, duration in days, all limitation among, uh, uh, with calendars, holidays, weekends are going to be respected. But that is not what I want. What I want is to have development started immediately after, uh, uh, sorry, backup immediately started after development. For that purpose, I will say not one day, but one E-day. What E-day means? Elapsed days. Let me show you uh, 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 briefly here. I will change here my uh, uh, timeline, time scale, and I will say that the uh, uh, middle tire will be in days, okay, and bottom tire will be in hours. So if you, if you go now and see and look at a task, task is supposed to start development uh, Monday, 8, 8 o'clock. So it will last from 8 to 12. Then it's a break according to calendar. Then it will start from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Then again, second day, the same thing from 8 to 5. And then the backup will start not at Wednesday because Wednesday is holiday, but on Thursday also from 8 to 5. If I put here one E-day, okay, then you will see that one E-day means that backup will last, will last one elapsed day, which is 24 hours, and it will be started immediately after predecessor is done. So here you will see that my task development started once again at Monday at 8 o'clock. First day is finished at Monday at 5 p.m. with respect of lunch break here. The second day will be the same and it will be Tuesday from 8 to 5. And then the backup will be started immediately and it will start at from 5 p.m. at Tuesday and it will be finished at 5 p.m. Wednesday. If I put here, let's say once again, four days, then you will see that my task development will be finished at Friday at 5 p.m. But the back one, will start at, at Friday at 5 p.m. and it will be finished at Saturday at 5 p.m. So here what I should say. 
when you put the duration in elapsed days, elapsed hours, elapsed uh, weeks, it means that, first of all, one elapsed days, for example, means one elapsed day is 24 hours. Two elapsed days is 48 hours. And it will start it immediately after predecessor. And the most important thing, the, cal the calendar will not be respected. So that this task backup doesn't care about holidays, weekends, etc. Elapsed day means start immediately after your predecessor and do, do not care about any calendar. So be aware uh, about that and I hope this helps. Thank you very much. See you soon.